Depth of field effects greatly enhance visual realism by emphasizing the in-focus region. The basic causes of defocus blurs are well studied. A point focusing in front of or behind the image plane splats a circle of confusion on the image plane. Accurate depth of field effects can be simulated offline by distributed ray tracing. Alternatively, it's possible to reorganize rays into multiple cameras on the lens and then accumulate them. However, repeated rendering of a scene is also expensive. To achieve real-time performance, single view based methods post filter the image but they exhibit visual artifacts such as depth discontinuity and edge bleeding. Sophisticated techniques have been developed to reduce such artifacts. In this paper we present a new solution for real-time depth of field rendering. Here we show a fairy forest scene. Note the focus changes as we move the focal plane and adjust the size of the lens. from a single rasterized view and its depth map. Our method dynamically generates a light field and then uses it to synthesize depth of field effects. We also reduce aliasing using image space filtering. Our method exploits parallel scattering using NVIDIA's CUDA architecture to synthesize a relatively large light field on the fly. It scales well to complex scenes and is easy to implement. Starting from a reference view and its depth map, a naive approach directly warps every pixel onto the light field cameras. However, in a typical scene, multiple pixels can warp to the same location in the synthetic view. We solve this by warping the depth of values instead and use CUDA's atomic operation to resolve parallel right conflict. This produces a sampled depth map light field. To synthesize depth of field, we apply the classical light field rendering by fusing multiple rays. We normally render a light field of 32 to 48 cameras due to speed concerns. The low spatial resolution can lead to aliasing artifacts. To resolve aliasing, we first build a mitmap of the reference image. When a ray is queried, we also query its corresponding defocus kernel and index it to the proper mitmap level. Here we compare our rendering results with and without anti-alias filtering. Now we show some of our results. All of them are rendered using a light field of 36 views and resolution 512 by 512. Notice the focus varies along the bunnies. Since the complexity of our approach is independent of scene geometry, we did a CUDA profiling to measure the actual runtime of the CUDA kernels. At the resolution 512 by 512, the depth of field simulation takes approximately 20 milliseconds per frame. Here we show an oxalis result. Notice the flower comes in and out of focus as they rotate.